राधा स्वामी टू रिस्पेक्टेड सर एंड ऑल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ रूपम दुबे रोल नंबर इज़ टू डबल ज़ीरो टू वन फाइव सिक्स ब्रांच इज़ इलेक्ट्रिकल टुडे आई एम हेयर टू प्रेजेंट दी सेमिनार ऑन द टॉपिक ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशंस दिस इज़ द कंटेंट ऑफ माय प्रेजेंटेशन इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी स्टीफेंस लॉ वीज डिसप्लेसमेंट लॉ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स ऑफ द ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशंस so why the classical mechanics is fail the classical mechanics is fail because it does not explain the motion of the atomic particles like electrons and proton and uh, it is not able to explain these phenomena like black body radiation photoelectric effect compton effect that's why the quantum mechanics is developed so we can see any object only when light is coming from either object to our eye like the candle when light is coming from the candle hits the eye then we can see the object or the light um, hitting an object and coming back to our eye then we can see the object if the light does not come back to the eye after hitting any object then the object invisible for us and it is appear as a black but black is not any color but black it is appeared means it is show the absence of light this means that any object which is black does not transmit any kind of radiation so whenever the radiation hits an object three types of phenom phenomena are possible so first one is a reflection second one is a transmission and third one is a absorption in black body radiation we will deal about the reflection and the absorption transmission we will not introduce so uh, any object emit the radiation when the temperature of that object is higher than the corresponding surrounding like the candle will radiate the energy will radiate uh, radiate the radiations because its temperature is uh, increasable in corresponding to surrounding and when the sun having more temperature than its surrounding so it's radiate the energy so when these radiations hits any object then the absorption uh, some part of radiations and then uh, refractions Uh, will be occur for some part of radiation the amount of radiation then uh, that the object absorb is known as the absorption coefficient of that object so in case of perfect black body alpha is going to be 100% so the black body is a theoretical object that can be observed absorbs 100% of radiations uh, that hits it why it is theoretical object because in practical there is no such body which radiate uh, which emit which absorbs all type of um, radiations so in the black body in the case of per perfect black body the absorption coefficient which is de denoted by alpha which uh, is 100% uh, in practical the carbon black is a object which is which is um, absorb maximum radiations about 99% so perfect black body is the body which absorb all type of radiation incident on it so quantum mechanics of black body radiation black uh, the stephen wolfsman law the amount of energy radiated is proportional to the temperature of the object raised to the fourth power means f is equals to sigma t to the power four f is a flux of energy t is the temperature and sigma is a constant and it is known as stephen wolfsman constant so second one is wien's law uh, the product of wavelength corresponding to maximum energy of the radiation and absolute temperature of the black body t is constant and in mathematical expression we can see wavelength multiplied by temperature will be equals to constant and the the value of that constant is 0.286 multiplied 10 to the power minus 2 meter k okay then um, according to the uh, wien's displacement law lambda m multiply by t will be constant so what is the limitation of this law this law is hold only for shorter wavelength it is not applicable for longer wavelength rayleigh's jeans law this one is a expression uh, for the for this law um, uvt is equals to 8 pi h v q c q 1 upon e ki power h b k v t minus 1 Uh, approximately equals to eight pi k b t v square by c q. There are so many forms of this law, and by using this law, 
uh, we will plot this graph and uh, according and this law is applicable for longer wavelength now quantum mechanics of planck uh, black body radiations so a planck assumed that radiation emitted by the body due to oscillation of electron in constituent particle of material body um, energy em waves sorry em waves means electromagnetic wa uh, waves electromagnetic energy cannot radiate or absorb any arbitrary but not uh, only discrete quantum amount the energy of the quantum depends on the frequency as e quantum is equals to h mu and h is a planck constant and value of that constant is 6.6 .6 multiplied 10 to the power minus 34 joule second so planck functions this is a planck functions e lambda is e lambda d lambda is equals to c1 lambda 5 d lambda e to the power c2 by lambda t minus 1 and c2 is equals to hc by k and c1 is equals to 8 pi hc and value of h is 6.6262 multiply 10 to the power minus 34 joule second k is equals to 1.3806 multiply 10 to the power minus 23 joules degree minus 1 and c is equals to 2.99793 multiply 10 to the power minus 8 meter per second and t is the object temperatures in kelvin in black body radiations uh, all the black body basically follow the planck function all the wavelength range and thank you for being connected with me and for your patience